हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर सिमरन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल होप यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई डिस्कस्ड अबाउट साइकाइट्री द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स एंड द इम्पॉर्टेंट रिसोर्सेज यूज फॉर अ साइकाइट्री फॉर एम सी एम सी क्यू एग्जाम टुडे आई बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट पीडियाट्रिक्स लाइक वॉट आर द रिसोर्सेज एंड वॉट आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स फॉर पीडियाट्रिक्स दैट यू शुड स्टडी फॉर दिस एग्जाम पर्पज सो लेट्स बिगिन so the first resource that i used for pediatrics is the john murtagh which is the main reference book for nearly all subjects uh, of for this exam then the usmle kaplan step 2 ck which is another important resource for pediatrics then the cubex amedex or amplesex handbook which obviously plays an important role for every subject the guidelines which are very very important for amc mcq exam and we use rch guidelines for pediatrics so i'll be starting from a usmle kaplan step 2 ck like the important topics that you should study from this book so let's start okay the important topics from a uh, usmle kaplan step 2 ck include let's start from the endocrine disorders so from endocrine disorders the first and important topic is the infant of diabetic mothers like you should know how does the infant of a diabetic mother present what are the common findings that can be seen in that infant what are the complications and how will you treat that infant so this is an important topic that you should do and you you can do this topic from usmle kaplan step 2 ck then comes the respiratory disorders respiratory disorders are very very important uh in terms of uh, pediatrics like for example the respiratory distress in newborn we call it hali membrane disease also the transient tachypnea of newborn the meconium aspiration syndrome so you must know the differences between these disorders uh like how to differentiate these disorders based on the findings based on the gestational age based on the x-ray findings and how will you diagnose these conditions and again how will you treat these conditions so these conditions are very very important in respiratory disorders another important topic include the diaphragmatic hernia that you can also do from usmle kaplan step 2 ck then talk about the milestones milestones are extremely important in pediatrics and for every sort of exam i think milestones are extremely important and you cannot ignore the milestones uh, i know it's very hard to learn and memorize each and every milestone so it's better you memorize only the important ones and while studying the milestones you should keep in mind what are the important red flags like when to call a particular delay in milestone as a red flag so these red flags and milestones are extremely important for amc mcq exam you can go through uh, these milestones from the usmle kaplan step 2 ck there is a chart in that book that you can go through or you can go through these um, milestones from any other source you want from the guidelines as well it's up to you then the important topic include the uh, growth and nutrition so from growth and nutrition the important topics are the tall stature the short stature also there is a chart in the kaplan step uh, step to ck regarding the growth velocity that you should do it is also very very important then talk about the immune deficiencies there is one chart in the kaplan step 2 ck related to the evaluation of suspected immune deficiencies like b cells t cells neutrophils and how these deficiencies present and what are the important tests that are used to diagnose these deficiencies AMC sometimes ask questions from these uh, immune deficiencies disorders so you should know what are the important tests and how these uh, conditions can present and again how will you manage these conditions for example i remember one question related to this topic in the recalls like there was a scenario related to a uh, neutrophil deficiencies and they were asking the important test to diagnose like rhodamine fluorescence is one of the test that we use to diagnose this neutrophil deficiencies so there is also a chart in the usmle kaplan step 2 ck that you can um, read and go through 
it contains important points so it's better to go through that uh, chart from that book okay another important topic include the laryngeal malaysia the cornal atresia these are some of the topics that like you should know a uh, definitions only that will be more than enough for example about laryngeal malaysia they usually ask what is the um, condition or that causes strider in children or what is the most common cause of strider in children so that is the laryngeal malaysia and regarding cornal atresia like uh, you should know the definition for example uh what is cornal atresia like they they usually give you scenarios for example the child is found to be cyanosed and when he cries when he opens his mouth he becomes pink so what is this condition called this is cornal atresia how will you uh, diagnose this condition and what, again what is the treatment of this condition so these are certain important topics related to pediatrics that you can study from any source from kaplan stack to ck or from any any guideline you want uh, then talk about the GIT so in terms of GIT important topics include the esophageal atresia tracheoesophageal fistula again there are associations there um, there are different diagnostic tests and how will you manage these conditions then talk about the duodenal atresia, jejunal atresia. How will you differentiate duodenal atresia from jejunal atresia? What will be the x-ray findings of duodenal atresia? Like we get double bubble sign in, in x-rays. And what is the association of duodenal atresia? Like it is usually associated with Down syndrome. There are certain other conditions that are associated with Down syndrome. There is a list of certain conditions. So it's better to go through that condition because they usually give this clue of down syndrome in the scenario so it's better you know what conditions are associated with down syndrome then pyloric stenosis pyloric stenosis is another important topic for amc mcq exam they usually ask like uh, you should know the time duration when this condition can present in in a child and how will it present like what are the findings and how will you diagnose this condition and again what will be the treatment so you should know the first initial test the diagnostic or the most accurate test for every kind of disorder you are studying studying because AMC really confuses us with these type of questions like what is the initial test what is the first test that you will do or what is the most important or what is the diagnostic or most accurate test so you need to study these topics like this manner and again what is the best initial treatment what is the best treatment so you should study and you should know each and everything related to these disorders then talk about cardiology cardiology topics include innocent murmurs innocent murmurs are super important for amc mcq exam you should know their presentation you should know their time duration like when do we call a murmur as innocent murmur and what is the criteria uh, for the diagnosis of these innocent murmurs and again how will you manage these murmurs then talk about um the left to right shunts or right to left shunts like we call it cyanotic or acyanotic conditions so the acyanotic conditions include the asd vsd uh patent ductus arteriosus so these are the important topics that you should do and again the murmurs that they present with because sometimes in the scenarios they give you murmurs and you have to diagnose what is this condition and again the age group is also very important the their presentation they are, like how will you diagnose these conditions and again their treatment similarly for a for cyanotic conditions like um, tetralogy of fallow in tetralogy of fallow the tet spells thing is very important like how the child will present and how will you manage those uh, tet spells okay and uh, apart from tetralogy of fallow you have hypoplastic left heart syndrome uh, which is also a part of a cyanotic condition and then transposition of great arteries transposition of great arteries is also very very important for amc mcq exam because um, and one important point for this condition is that the child will be cyanotic and the child will not improve upon uh, upon giving oxygen so some 
sometimes they give this clue in the scenarios and you have to diagnose what is this condition that is not improving on uh, like giving upon giving oxygen so and also this is the condition that is usually that usually presents in the infants of diabetic mothers so that that is also another clue so you have to keep in mind these clues in order to uh, diagnose certain conditions because amc usually doesn't give simple scenarios they usually complicate the things so you need to keep in mind the important tips and clues in order to diagnose certain conditions then uh, other topics uh, uh, that I missed um, from GIT uh, are the Hirschsprung disorder. Hirschsprung disorder is very important condition and you should know when to call a particular disorder as Hirschsprung disorder and its diagnosis, its treatment. You can read this from the Kaplan Step to CK or from the guidelines. Uh, so it's very, it's very well written in guidelines as well. I'll be sharing the important guidelines in the description below so you don't have to worry about that then along with the Hirschsprung uh, there is intussusception. Intussusception is also a very important condition. Again, you can read that from the books as well as from the guidelines. Intussusception, even I also uh, got one MCQ from this topic. So it's very important for AMC MCQ exam. Let's talk about the topics that are important from the John Murtagh. So John Murtagh has a separate section of child and adolescent health and all the topics and chapters related to pediatrics are in that particular section. So starting with the specific problems in children, uh, the topics that are important from this chapter include like the blocked nasolacrimal duct, umbilical granuloma, port wine stains, um, infantile hemangioma, growing pains. Growing pains, uh, this topic is extremely important for AMC MCQ exam because AMC usually give questions related to this particular topic like how does this present and what is the particular age group in which growing pains can present and what is the management of this uh, growing pains. Then I'll uh, talk about the surgical problems in children. Surgical problems in children include like the cleft lip and cleft palate and uh, the different types of hernias, the developmental dysplasia of the hip joint, the Perthes disease. So these topics are important in terms of when to do surgery and when not to do surgery. So there's a chart in the JM related to these uh, different disorders that need surgical interventions at particular age group or particular time period. So you need to know, you must know the important uh, surgical interventions for these particular disorders. So it's better to go through that chart in the GM uh, from this chapter and this chart is super important for AMC MCQ exam. Uh, then talk about the behavioral disorders in children. So for behavioral disorders, uh, I have already discussed in the previous video related to psychiatry that uh, like for example, autism, the ADHD, Asperger syndrome, these are certain important behavioral conditions related to pediatrics that you should have uh, an idea about, okay? Then talk about the emergencies in children. So for emergencies in children, you must know certain conditions that are extremely important for AMC MCQ exam, like for example, the foreign body inhalation. This is favorite topic of AMC MCQ exam and you should have an idea of the whole topic like what are the high risk foreign bodies and how will you manage this emergency uh, depending on the location or the point where the foreign body has been stuck. So there, this topic you can do from the GM. Along with that, you can do this from the guidelines. There is a flow chart in the guideline. Uh, I think that is important to do. So you should do this topic from the GM as well as from the guidelines. Then talk about um, the different uh, emergencies related to the respiratory conditions like acute epiglottitis, croup, bronchiolitis, 
asthma exacerbation or very severe asthma so acute epiglottitis is again very important for amc mcq exam uh, and this is life threatening emergency so you should have an idea how the child will present how will you manage this condition and how will you differentiate this epiglottitis from quincy because amc sometimes gives very complicated and confusing scenarios and it's very difficult to uh, diagnose uh, these conditions or differentiate these conditions based on the given information so you must have a good idea uh, on how to differentiate these two important uh, disorders epiglottitis and quincy then talk about the croup croup is another important emergency uh, in children and you should know uh, what is the causative agent of uh, this condition and what is the grading system of croup like when and how will you divide this in mild moderate and severe and based from this severity how will you manage this condition because there is a different management for mild to moderate a croup and different management for severe croup because in severe croup, croup we usually give um, nebulized adrenaline and it's important to know the dose of adrenaline that you are giving in severe croup so it's better you know uh, the severity and the management based on the severity then talk about bronchiolitis bronchiolitis is another important condition and you should know what is the causative agent what is the presentation what labs to order what will you see in x-ray of bronchiolitis and how will you manage this bronchiolitis when will you admit the child in hospital when will you give oxygen through nasal prongs when will you give oxygen through face mask and like how will you manage this situation so bronchiolitis is another important topic then talk about asthma asthma is very important for amc mcq exam you should know each and everything related to asthma its severity its its exacerbation like what is the best reliever what is the best preventer when will you give inhaled corticosteroids when will you give the leukotriene receptor antagonist when will you add uh, magnesium sulfate so these are important uh, points that you have to keep in mind related to asthma and there is a separate particular good guideline for asthma uh, i'll try to find and share that guideline in the description other topics from childhood emergencies include the anaphylaxis anaphylaxis is also important and we treat it by giving adrenaline through IM injection, we should also know the dose of adrenaline that we give. Uh, along with that, the sudden infant death syndrome, another important topic, um, breath holding attacks, meningitis, meningococcemia, febrile convulsions or the afebrile seizures so there's a guideline for afebrile seizures as well that i'll uh, share in the link uh, share the link in the description below and status epilepticus other super important uh, topic for amc mcq exam then talk about the infections whether bacterial or viral both are equally important for example the rubella varicella measles mumps kawasaki disease pertussis, Epstein-Barr virus, parvovirus. So these are very, very important for um, the AMC MCQ exam. Uh, you should know the different type of rash that they present with um, and other important findings, uh, their management, and their school exclusion period because for every infection there's a particular ex school exclusion period that you should know and there's a chart for this school exclusion period in the gm uh, but it's better i'll suggest you to do this chart from the guidelines because uh, guidelines are updated and the gm is outdated although it's the eighth edition that is the latest one but still it's uh, outdated so it's better to do these different type of important topics and things from the guidelines from our guidelines so school exclusion period is very important and you should do that as well uh, I think that is it for uh, pediatrics uh, I'll add the important topics um, at the end of this video and I'll add the topics that I have might have missed out in the video so uh, that is it for today see you in the next video uh, on another subject so bye bye take care